So hello, today we are at the Vintage Classic uh, Car Club, like a breakfast club down at Battlesbridge in Essex. We'll have a look around and see what we can find. I'm with this gentleman who's got a Model A and uh, just briefly we're going to just talk about where it came from and a little bit of its history. What can you tell me? That's 1929 Model A Ford Phaeton which I think was made in, built in Canada, right hand drive and then spent most of its life in Uruguay um, and it was imported from there, it was imported from Uruguay and Hence the condition is very good. Um, I like the patternated look myself. So this would have seen out the war, World War II in uh, Uruguay. in Europe, yeah. Uruguay. Oh, sorry, not sorry. I've got Uruguay's actually in South America, isn't it? <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I let myself down. There. It has been used as a trials car. Hence, hence the bouncers bar to hold on to for the bouncers in the back. What? Yeah, it's got some real history. Yeah, and it's got larger rear wheels for extra grip on trials, on, on it's trials. It's really quite a unique one then, really. Mud chucking. Yeah, I've heard <laughs> these doors fly open. Yeah, they're not the best <laughs> luck. But, uh, yeah, just had yeah, an engine, nice. engine rebuild at huge expense. Oh, really? Huge expense. Pretty basic as well, isn't it? Yeah. Is it similar to the Model T? No, completely different. Oh, it's, the engine's different, is it? Yeah, Model T's are a, a, a really individual um, one. Or, they're, they're, they're strange things, Model T's. They're not okay. like normal cars. Okay. Especially the gearboxes. Oh, yeah, I did, I, I did actually uh, talk to a gentleman who had one. It's uh, yeah. quite unique, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it's in good condition. Yeah, I, I love, like I say, I love the patinated look of cars. I don't like them too polished. So it's probably probably that dry climate that's that's kind of helped preserve it in yeah. Uruguay, yeah, yeah. which is Com not in Europe. Yeah, <laughs> complete, with, complete with cobwebs. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, we don't mind a cobweb or two. Just wipe it down with an oily rag, as they say. <laughs> oh, well, nice talking to you anyway. <laughs> and you, Thank okay. you. Okay. See ya. 
think I'm losing the plot thinking Uruguay, Uruguay's in Europe. Anyway, that's a beautiful car, isn't it? And like an interesting history. Now we're going to look at a car that actually does come from Europe. Can't believe I said Uruguay. I'll never live that one down. Absolutely beautiful car, isn't it? Sort of reminds me of a Bond film from the 60s for some reason. For some reason, I can imagine Scaramanga's driving one of these in a different colour. Truly beautiful car when England made fine vehicles. Look at this Aston Martin DB6.
So as usual we've got a, <coughs> an array of vehicles from all different decades. It's a really good place for owners to sort of meet up and talk about the vehicles that they've got passion for as well. It's a cracking car, isn't it? This fair weather's definitely bringing them out. Yeah, remember the Ram? Ram, Ram. Yeah. Yeah. I was up at Peter's uh, a week or two ago. Was that at Peter's? Look at the Daimler. Yeah, is it good? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.
been over at the breakfast time. Was that? You've been over at a breakfast club? Yeah. We don't as soon as we come in. I, I could see you where we were meeting from, I don't know. The engine. Fear, isn't it? Yeah. Is it? Is it a fear? I think it's over a God, did well to slot that in there. So this gentleman owns this uh, amazing, is it a Traveller? Yeah, Morris, Morris Traveller, yeah, with, with not a standard engine. What can you tell me about this engine? It's a two litre, twin cam, Fiat. Two litre Fiat? Yeah, twin cam. And uh, how long have you had it in there for? It's been in there 30 years. 30 years? Yeah, I didn't do it though. And can I ask you what other modifications you made to this? Uh, so you've not put the engine in? No, uh, it's got disc brakes, shocks on the front, servo. So it's quite five, rapid. Five speed gearbox. Five speed box. We said it, uh, the interior's different, all the wood's been done. Can we have a look inside, is that yeah. alright? Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? The trouble is, you do so many things, you can't remember what you've done. Yeah, of course. Obviously, the wheels are different. I need to, I need to cart a load of scrap around in my way. Yeah, yeah. so do I. <laughs> I would have liked, I'd like to do it today, especially yeah. the price of scrap. £5,000 yeah. a ton of copper. That's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. It's got... Good. Yeah, you've got drum brakes. At the back, yeah. Made a single... Oh, right, OK. That's, that's different, because isn't it? There's 13 holes under here where the water comes down, runs through the wood, and then runs out, which is a silly idea. Oh, okay. So while it was, the wood was done last year, so yep. while it was in, I had it indoors, I measured it all up, had a quote for the glass, worked out how it went, and we put that in. That's great, and that's a and, piece of oak, is it? And filled up the sash. Oh, it's ash. And, they, and filled all the holes in. So oh, there's, wow. So there's no water going through it anymore. So that, again, is quite unique. Yeah, should be, yeah. I don't wow. know if anybody else has done it. Wow. On that. Um, Good condition. Uh, LED lights. Oh, nice. You've obviously done a lot of work on it. And you've had it a long time? No, for uh, oh. four years this year. Oh, four years, okay. Yeah. 
Right. Thanks for your... Uh... No, that's right. I, 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 I wouldn't have put a Fiat engine in it because I know nothing about them. Okay. okay. Basically, I would have put a Ford engine in there. Should have gone for the Ford route. Yeah, because it makes more sense. But there's loads of yeah. bits and pieces. It's obviously. quite a reliable engine, I guess, is it? Yeah, it's, supposed to, it's supposed to be a good engine. Yeah. yeah. The, the reason they put them in there is mm. because all the Fiat's rusted and fell apart. They all went to the breaker's yard. So when you went down the breaker's yard in the late 80s... I remember. You, you could go in there and there'd be loads and loads of rusty Fiat's with all good engines in and you could get a 13, 100, a 16, yeah, 100 probably or a with two, low mileage. Or a 2 litre, yeah. And, wow. were, and that, in them days, a five-speed gearbox was a rarity. Yeah, yeah. So you've yeah, got yeah. economy and top yeah, end as got, well. Yeah, you've got, you got everything. You've got everything yeah. going. So that was, it was a good transaction. But I don't think it was... It could have been done better. Yeah, but it's. Uh, well, it's, it's you put your mark on it anyway. Yeah, oh, I've done plenty to it. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, I see. Like you say, you forget what you've done because yeah, you've done so many do, things. Yeah. yeah, it's like I've just put a stainless steel exhaust on it. Oh, what's that? Uh, right. yeah. oh, it's lovely. It cost 225 quid plus 60 quid for some welding to add the joints welding, and a mild steel one was 222. Oh, <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, so you have to do a little bit of jacking yeah, about. Yeah. There's still loads of things to do. Labour of love, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Basically, it's, never, it's never ending. There's always there's there's something. There's always something, something to do. I've got new discs to put on it. New calipers I've just got. Some bits and pieces. It's just trying to make it. Nice little winter job. Mm, yeah, summer job, I think. Oh, all right, summer. Point. Depends yeah. if you've got a garage, I suppose. No, yeah. it stays out all the time. Oh, right, yeah, okay. The daily, daily use car, I've not um, I've had all that two cars, garages and all the bits and pieces. Wow, it's really good condition <laughs> for being outside. Uh, yeah, like yeah. you say, using it every day it helps pr prolong it. It's yeah. uh, rust and so on. Right? Yeah, I'll just keep an eye on it. I'll give it yeah. a wipe over and see how it goes. Well, thanks yeah. for... Uh, no, you're more than welcome. Really interesting, thank you. And you're Ken Butterworth and Dovercourt, weren't you? <laughs> no, no, different one than <laughs> that. This gentleman's got a Morris Minor, what was it, pickup truck? Yeah. Ute? Yeah, so what that's can, what they call what can you tell me about it? You've obviously had it a while, you say. Uh, first car I ever bought. Um, oh, and say that again, first car? Yes, yeah, my first car. No way. Yeah. You've obviously had a few cars since. Uh, no, not, oh. <laughs> not many. Really? I've had like, work vans. Oh, not... right, so what have you actually done to this? Uh, well, when I bought it, it had a 1300 uh, Marina engine and gearbox in it. Um, it got smashed up by my boss and then I rebuilt the front and we put disc brakes on it because he was running into the back of someone. Uh, we've made the whole back end has all been remade. It was step sided before but we made these wings, they're all steel. Oh right, so that's this all, is all, all of this is all hand, hand fabricated. Yeah, handmade on an English wheel. Wow. Yeah. Made all the back end, the tub, the tailgate, all had all the press had all this pressed in. Oh okay. Made the made all this balance and sat, French the number plates so it can't be seen by uh, certain cameras. <laughs> okay. So what can we look at the engine? Is that possible? It's a bit rough under there, but yeah, you can have. Oh, it's honest. It's got a, it's got a different gearbox in it now. The gearbox is out of a Dolomite Sprint, so it's got overdrive in third and fourth. Wow. On the switch. Nice. Makes a big makes a big difference. What it, economy? Ah, just, just, speed, top, just, just, just top getting end. through the gears, top end, fuel, fuel consumption. I went up to, Peter, uh, to Santa Pod last week and uh, it was uh, it turned out, turned in 45 to the gallon. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. The seat the seat's made out of a, uh, an old, old sofa. The co it's a cover off an old two-seater sofa and then like what would have been the back of it. Made all this up. This looked better when I'd done it, you know. It was my first. It's so much carriage, sort of car that I yeah. have. Look at the carpet. Go carpet it was just someone. Someone had thrown the carpet out. It was an off cut. It was all brand new. It was just enough to do it. I just made it and stuck it in there just for a bit more comfort. It's all re like, a lot of recycling been going on with this. Yeah. yeah just Some visor uh, came off of uh, my missus's old car. We took it off before I sold it. I love it. Oh, Little wow. thirteen hundred. Patched up elephant trunk, cool air it's thing. It's all on this, doesn't it? Yeah. Tiny little engine, 1300, yeah, you say? 1300. It's got a little uh, SU. SU single one. HIF. 
But it is what it is. Yeah. It's a bit, yeah. But 45 to the gallon is pretty impressive. Yeah. yeah. I'm quite impressed with that, especially yeah. for an old car. Drop the bumper, make some brackets up to lower the oh, bumper this down. One here. Yeah, yeah. Put some big overriders on to cover the bracket tree. Oh, nice. These are uh, chrome, the chrome grill is actually off of uh, the, like, the German minis, you know, like the German mini ones. And mate, the, it's actually just sort of clipped on to the original grill that's underneath, but I just wanted a chrome grill, so. So this car is basically ongoing, isn't it? It's, yeah, uh, it's a love of love of engineering, time. lifetime. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, thanks for telling the, everybody it's what right. it's like. I mean, what's it like to drive? Is it, is it firm or is it smooth? It, it's a bit rattly on the <laughs> on the bumpy roads, but you get it on a you get it on a decent bit of road. It's lovely. You sit there cruising along at 70, 70 mile an hour. You've all lowered it down a bit, have you? Uh, a little bit. I a think little the bit. Bump, uh, the bumpers um, makes it a lot lower, to be honest with you. And then and then I made these bits up here as well to just to fill that gap in. Yeah. So that's all been handmade and it's really nice. messed around with. And it's got a character, isn't it? Yeah, slightly wider wheels on the back. Well, thank you. That's alright. Nice one. It's alright. So with this gentleman who owns this DB6, is that right? Aston Martin, Aston Martin DB6. So what can you tell me about this lovely vehicle? I bought it in 2005 and restored it myself in my garage over five years. Put it on a road in 2010. Five years? Yeah. So what sort of condition was it like? Terrible. Terrible? Yeah, it's rotten everywhere. So you obviously know what you're doing? I've been doing playing with cars all my all my life since I was 14 or 15 so this was the final the final straw if you like okay <laughs> this is the yeah this is the icing on the cake isn't yeah, it yeah um, done many miles in it done been to Le Mans camping seven times wow and full of camping gear and we've done a trip around Europe which was two and a half thousand miles in two weeks driving so it's very reliable then? Yeah, 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 it's got all the engine has been modified so it's, so it's reliable. Um, the head's been altered and the block's been altered to make the water channels better and the water pump's been improved and the radiator. Do you mind if we have a look under the bonnet? Yeah, Is that of course, right? yeah, I'll have to unlock it. Yeah, go for it. So, I mean, this was built and designed when uh, everything was done by hand, wasn't it? Yes, yeah. The, the body is all aluminium and the chassis work underneath is all steel. And people who know, know that steel and aluminium don't go together. No. So, Aston Martin in the wiseness put silk to isolate the aluminium, and which is quite good until it got damp and then it turned <laughs> into conductor. Oh! <laughs> so, this has all been done, so it's got around that problem. Wow. So you've got uh, three, is that SUs? SUs, yeah. H, HD2, I think. It's now 4.2 litre. So it's six cylinder, is it? Straight yeah. six, is that yeah. what it is? Wow. It's 320 brake horsepower now. It's and, been modified. And standard more. was? 
280. Wow, so it makes a lot of difference. Yeah. Good for motorway driving, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. It's got a bit of speed in it now, so it's doing 80 miles an hour, it's doing 2,400 revs. So it cruises all day at 70, 80 miles an hour. <laughs> did, uh, did James Bond own one of these, or no. did he have the smaller one? Yeah, the DB5. Oh, I did look a bit bigger. Yeah, so DB5, okay. Yeah. All right, well, thanks for your time. No problem. Thank you. So I hope you enjoyed that and thank you very much. Yeah.